Next up on the SEO checklist, we have the basic SEO part one, clean URLs tab. Now this whole section refers to making the paths or the links or the URLs on your site, essentially human readable. The first item here says simply to enable clean URLs. Now in Drupal 8, clean URLs are actually enabled by default. In Drupal 7, it used to be that after your domain, by default, you would have something like question mark Q equals node, things like that. It didn't look good and it is not great for SEO either. It was pretty easy to enable clean URLs, but it wasn't done by default. In Drupal 8, we don't have to worry about doing this because clean URLs are enabled by default. So we can go ahead and check that and save. And then it's gonna tell us to install and enable redirect to configure the redirect module and do the same with the path auto module and then create some path auto patterns. If you don't know what that means, that's fine. That's what we're here for. So we're gonna actually need four modules in order to install these. Of course, we need the redirect module and the path auto module, but these also have some modules that they require as dependencies, which are Chaos Tools Suite, otherwise known as C Tools, and Token. So before you go any farther, you need to download and install Redirect, Path Auto, C Tools, and Token onto your site. Once you've downloaded those modules and put them on your site, we need to enable them. So we're going to go to Extend. And if you are using Module Filter, as you should be, you can click Chaos Tool Suite over here on the side and enable Chaos Tools. In most situations, you would also want to enable Chaos Tools Views, which just allows you to do some things that this module enables you to do that we're not going to get into. But we're not going to worry about that because we don't need it for our purposes in this tutorial. Then under Other, we're going to enable Path Auto, Redirect, and we're not going to worry about these other two redirect modules, and Token. So once you have these three, as well as Chaos Tools selected, click Install. And now that those are enabled, we're gonna start playing around with and configuring Redirect first. We find Redirect's configuration under Configuration, Search and Metadata, and URL Redirects. And we're just gonna go here. We're not gonna go any farther down in the menu yet. We're just gonna click on URL Redirects. And it'll take us to this first tab, URL redirects, which simply shows us a list of all the redirects that we have on our website. Now, the first thing you may be wondering, if you're familiar with the term aliases, is what is the difference between a URL redirect and a node alias? For example, I'm going to go back to our website. I'm going to open this in a new tab so I have this redirect page ready to come back to easily. All of our content right now if we click on whatever article we have at the top, it's going to be our domain slash node slash some number. We can edit this page or this node. And over here on the URL path settings, provide an alias. So if we were to change the title, for instance, to something like all about dogs, it's some article we have about dogs. We could change this URL alias to slash, you always have to start off with a slash, all dash about dash dogs, or we could do something like slash article slash all about dogs. Either way, that creates a URL alias. And if we save this, now our URL has changed from slash node slash some random number, which is kind of confusing from a user experience standpoint to something much more understandable, especially if someone's linking this somewhere or sending someone a link they can tell by looking at the URL what this article is probably going to be about. When we create an alias this way, we're actually changing the URL of this node, essentially. When we create a redirect, we're not just creating a new URL that will get us here. In other words, if we created this as a redirect, then someone could type in this URL and it would take them to node slash 48 or 49 or whatever it was. But when we create an alias, we're actually essentially changing the real URL of this piece of content. 
when we create a redirect, we'll go back to our redirect page, we're not creating a new piece of content, we're not renaming the URL for any piece of content, we're doing something a little bit more simple, which is simply saying if someone types in this URL, take them to this other URL instead. Now, this is important for SEO because sometimes on websites, especially older sites and larger sites, you're gonna end up with pages that you used to have, but that maybe don't exist anymore, or maybe over time, for whatever reason, their URL has changed. That's one of the biggest reasons you would want to create a redirect. So to add a redirect, we click the add redirect button, and it's gonna ask us what path you want the redirect to start from. In other words, when someone types in this URL, we want to take them here. So let's say just for example, if someone types in our domain slash dogs, we want it to take them to our article at slash article slash all dash about dash dogs. And we're not going to get into redirect status codes, but essentially you want to keep this at 301. Unless it's something that you're just doing temporarily, in which you'll use 307, most cases you'll want to use 301. Click save. And now, if we go to our domain slash dogs, it redirects us to this article and gives us the article's real URL. It doesn't show slash dogs up here. It takes that and takes us somewhere else. Now, I'm gonna back up here. Another cool thing you can do is redirect people off of your site, which you can't do with aliases because that's not the purpose of what an alias is. If someone goes to my domain slash Robert, I wanna take them to my own personal website, my own homepage where I have a little bit of information about myself. This exists at http colon backslash backslash robertcring.com. Save. And we can see this in action. If we go to our domain slash Robert, it's going to take us to my web page. So that's just to demonstrate that you can have redirects that take people off site. If we click on settings here, we'll see a lot of stuff that we really don't need to play around with. One of the more helpful ones here is automatically create redirects when URL aliases are changed. So if we were to go back to our all about dogs article and change this alias again to maybe feature slash all about dogs instead of article slash all about dogs, our redirect module settings are such that it will automatically create a redirect. So if someone types in the old URL, it'll take them to the new one. That's really very helpful. And there are some other things that you can play with here. Usually you want to keep everything on this page just as it is.